Dozens of dead fish floating atop the water and washing up on the shore by the Hagatnya boat basin. The issues leaving some fishermen standing by frustrated as potential harvests float away. There's no official word on what is causing the abundance of dead fish, but they want regulatory agencies to get to the bottom of it. I'm an avid fisherman. I'm, an, I'm also an avid hunter. I adhere to all the laws. I provide them with, with regulations and with permits and licenses whenever they require me to do so. I don't see who that guy that's out there with the net. I mean, I don't see what difference we are as people. Several of the fishermen we talked to Wednesday morning pointed out a fishing net, a net they say and the Department of Agriculture confirms has been out on the water for eight days. According to Guam Code annotated, quote, surround nets must be removed within six hours of setting, end quote. But according to agriculture fishery biologist Brent Tibbetts, the net isn't currently in violation. The current Guam law has regulations regarding gill net use, which gill nets cannot be out more than six hours. They have to be removed and they have to be manned the whole time. Um, the type of net that's being used to surround the uh, school of a tulai down there right now is a purse seine net, not a gill net. And so those regulations do not apply to that type of net. Tibbetts, however, says the concern will come when they begin to see dead fish within the nets. We have not found dead fish in the net. There have been dead fish now reported in the last few days uh, down in the boat basin, not uh, in the net. Guam EPA spokesman Nick Lee says their agency is investigating. Our hopes is to collect uh, some fish samples and some water samples to determine uh, what's causing this. For us, you know, in safeguarding human and environmental health, this is something that, you know, we, we need to look at uh, if there is a naturally occurring or a uh, man-made uh, uh, event that's causing this. Though local fishermen say they have no problems with the net being dropped, they're simply frustrated with the length of time it's been in the water and feel it has resulted in the dead atulai. Our fish is a valuable resource. We're surrounded by water and there are government agencies that are paid to protect our resources, yet we see this. Why? Someone didn't do their job. Someone didn't protect our resource that we depend on. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maigay.